Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this review we will be comparing two standard zoom lenses, the Sigma 28-70mm and the Sony 28-70mm OSS. Both lenses have the same focal range of 28-70mm, but different apertures. The Sigma has a maximum aperture of f2.8, while the Sony has a max aperture of f3.5 till f5.6. We will start with a brief look at the main specs of these two lenses. We will analyze in more detail and list the pros and cons of each lens. The Sigma has a f2.8 max aperture, it's weather sealed, it has a filter thread of 67mm, it weights 470g, it has a minimum focus distance of 19cm and a price currently of 750 euro. The Sony have an aperture of f3.5 till f5.6, it has an image stabilization, the filter thread is 55mm, it weights 295g, the minimum focus distance is 14cm and the price is 400 euro. As you can see, every lens has its advantages. The Sony is stabilized and 175g lighter. The Sigma has a continuous aperture of f2.8 weather sealed and has a minimum focus distance of only 19cm. You can buy also the Sony lens for around 150 euro in very good condition, because a lot of people sell this lens when it comes in camera bundle with the a7. But what about the picture and video quality? We will find out in a moment. Have fun with the test. Okay, now we are back on our side-by-side -side comparison. You see here on the left side the Sigma and on the right side the Sony. First of all we were comparing the focal range. We were comparing the 28mm, the 50mm and the 70mm. We were comparing some portrait shots, some night shots and after that we will go into the autofocus and video test. Let's start with the 28mm. I have set the aperture on both lenses on 7.1 to get the best sharp results. As you see on the first look, both looks very good, nearly identical in my point of view. Maybe the Sigma has a brighter sky. Let's jump into 100%. Okay, in the middle, yeah, you see the Sigma, it's a little bit sharper here on, on the clock. And here you see it, the Sony is a little bit softer. Let's go on the edges. Yeah, it's, let's see here on the window, Sigma is much sharper. And on the trees, let's, let's see, you see it here on the leaves. The Sony is much sharper and that is the reason why you are paying so much more for the Sigma. It's very very sharp. Let's go on 50mm. Okay, here the same. The Sigma sky is a little bit brighter. Both images are shot with f7.1 aperture. Both look good. Let's go on 100%. Here the same, the Sigma is sharper, it has more details and more contrast. See it here, jump into the corners, and here again the window, razor sharp and the Sony it's, it's softer, and here the trees, look at this, very excellent sharpness. The Sony is, is soft. Back to the middle. Yeah, much more contrast and sharpness on the Sigma. Let's jump into 70mm. Here again, here, here you see it clearer on 70mm on the first look that the Sigma is, has much more contrast and it's sharper. You see it here on the windows. Let's jump on of 100%. Yeah, the Sony has an improvement here on, on 70mm, but the Sigma is still sharper. Yeah, you see it here, if you go up to the lines here, you see how sharp the Sigma is. Jump to the edges. Yeah, 
it's really clear. On 70 mil, to be honest, it's better than on 28 and 50 mil. It has an improvement to Sony lens, but um, the Sigma lens is far better. Yeah, you see it here on the on the trees. On 28 and 50 mil, it was much more softer. Now you have a little more sharpness here. No words for this. It's a Sigma's razor sharp. Okay, let's jump into the portrait comparison. Okay, both pictures looks very good. It's bright. At the first look, I see the Sigma a smoother bouquet. I shot it on the aperture wide open. That means the Sigma was shot at f2.8 and the Sony at 5.6. Both are shot with 70 mil to get the best bouquet. And yes, of course, it's um, smoother on the Sigma lens. Let's go on 100%. Yes, yeah, so if, if you've seen before on, on 70, it's not that big difference. Yes, of course, the, on the middle, the Sigma, it's it's better, but the Sony performs also very good. It's not so, so bad, but if we go to the edges, you see it, uh, Sigma, it's much more better, much more contrast, it's sharper. Yeah. Also on the winner, of course, the Sigma. Let's go on the night shots. Here you see an example what it means to have a brighter aperture of f2.8. I have shoot both with a focal length of 28 mil, the Sigma with the aperture of f2.8 and the Sony with the aperture of 3.5. The exposure time was on both 10 seconds. And you see the Sony, it's a little bit darker, but at the first look, both looks not not so bad okay i forgot something um i said on both pictures the iso on 1000 to achieve the same results you have to set the iso on the sony lens of 1600 and it looked like this it's very similar both looks very good at the first look very sharp but if we go on 100 percent you see it here on the stars the sharpness on the Sigma, it's way better. See the Sony is softer. Let's go down to the trees. And here you see it. The Sigma lens is, of course, sharper than the Sony. You see it here. But if you're not a pixel peeper, yes, you can you can use this. They both look good in my point of view. Next, you will see the autofocus and the video test. As you have seen, the Sigma is better than the Sony in almost all situations. Alta, it's not stabilized and a bit heavier. The Sigma with the f2.8 aperture can achieve faster shutter speeds. The Sigma is also much sharper than the Sony, especially in the corners. I will highly recommend the Sigma. In my opinion, it's one of the best zoom lenses you can buy these days. For example, it's cheaper and lighter than the bigger brother Sigma 24-70 f2.8 and the quality is almost identical. I have also created a review for this, which I have linked at the top and at the end of this video. Which lens would you choose? Feel free to write your opinions in the comments. If you like this test, I would be happy about a like and if you would subscribe to my channel. See you next time.